there and welcome to Wired In. My name is Jan Nell and today I will be doing the title of adding custom fields to the default Joomla registration form. We will be working in Joomla version 2.5 for this tutorial and the purpose of this tutorial will be to teach you how to add five different types of fields to the form. The first of which is a regular input type text like the name. The second will be a text area. Then we will do a selection box, a checkbox, and a radio box. So we're going to start off making some changes in our database. I've created the database tutorial for this tutorial. In the database, we are going to scroll down and look for the users table. We need to change the structure of this table, so we're going to click on structure and we are going to add these five fields between name and surname. So I want you to add five columns after name and click on go. The first field will be called surname it will be of the type bar car and we will enter 255 length values the second will be our text area which will be called bio it will be of the type text and we'll make it 500 the third one will be our selection menu or the selection drop down list we will call it gender it will be of the type bar car and we will make it 255. The fourth one will be our checkbox where we will ask the user to agree. It will be a tiny int as defined by zero. And the final one will be called married in which we will ask the user to answer yes or no if they are married will also be as defined by zero and we will save the changes to the structure of the users table so as you can see there between the name and the username we have entered one two three four five new rows each of which will represent a input in this form between the name and the username. So if we're, we are done with the database so we can close that up and we can proceed with editing the Joomla files required to make the changes to the actual form. The first file if you open up your website's root directory we will find the first file inside libraries Joomla and we will scroll down to find the user folder inside there that user.php file is the one that we are going to edit this file does not have a lot of work for us to do in it we're going to just copy uh, the name with the comments i'm pressing ctrl c to copy and then we're going to paste it five times one two three four and five we pasted it five times once for each field that we're going to add the first one we're going to change to surname be sure to keep the dollar sign intact second one is bio then we have the gender Then we have the agree checkbox and the married radio boxes. Okay, once these changes have been made, we can save the file, control S, and close it. We don't need to do anything further there. The next file we need to edit is uh, inside, if we go back to the root files. We will find it in components, com users, models, 
forms and this registration form file is the one registration.xml is the one we're going to edit in this file you will find uh, xml data field set data blocks of code each of which represents a field on this form so we are going to between the name and the username block is where we're going to insert our new fields now I have prepared a, a cheat sheet from which I'm going to copy and paste the blocks of code so that I can discuss it with you without having to concentrate on typing it out the first block of code that we're going to enter here on line 20 I'm going to paste it in it's a field with the name surname and the type text it has a label surname a description which you can make whatever you want a message that you can change to whatever you want and required which is set as true which you can set as false if you'd like I'm just gonna keep it as true and then a size 30 if we save this file we go back to the website and we refresh the website you will see that the surname has now appeared with the input box next to it so we are now ready to do the bio this block of code represents the bio the field name is the name should be the same as the name you gave in the database table as you will see surname and bio is the same names we gave in the database table the type is text area because it is in fact a text area it has a label called your bio which you can change description please enter your bio a message invalid bio which is which is something that you can change and then the text areas dimensions calls 30 and rows 7 if we save this file and refresh the form you will see that the bio has now appeared with a text area that is uh, set according to these dimensions 30 calls and 7 rows our next block of code is the gender selection list and it looks like this it's a field with the name gender same as in the database table the type is list which is very important to note the label is gender but you can change that to whatever you want the description is also something that you can change but then we have two options here and a closing field tag on line 42 as you might notice this block of code does not have a closing field tag but this one has and that is important to note another important difference is this block of code has a forward slash on line 34 just before the larger than sign whereas this block of code does not have that forward slash the absence of that forward slash is very important so be sure to copy this exactly the way it is written in this document otherwise you might receive a error 500 pause the video copy down the code save the file and if you refresh your page you should see a gender optional selection list our next block of code that we're going to enter will represent the agree checkbox and it looks like this it's a field with the name agree the same as in the database the type checkbox which is very important all lowercase the label is agree you can change that to whatever you want the description again you can change and the message you can change the value however is important to be set and as default to one okay and if you save this also note that there is a forward slash here if you save this and you refresh the form 
you will see an agree checkbox appear in the form. Finally, our last block of code, which looks like this, with a field with the name married and the type radio. This is our radio button. A label that says are you married which you can change in the description that you can change as well and this box block of code this block of code is very similar to the list that we had earlier in that there is an absence of the forward slash right after the closing or the larger than there is an absence of the forward slash there it does not exist and there is a presence of the closing field tag and between those two are the two options with the value of no set to zero and the value of yes set to one this is again very important to note that the, the forward slash is absent in this block of code if you save this document and you refresh the form you will see that there is an are you married with two radio boxes attached to that label now this might not look pretty but this is as a matter of fact as a result of the CSS which I suggest you look into and find a way to make it look pretty uh, I'm not going to do that right now as that is not the purpose of this tutorial but uh, the padding and the the margins are obviously not right here. If you click on yes, that one is selected. If you click on no, that one is selected. It's as a result of the spacing that is um, incorrect. So you need to fix that in the CSS. But however, the radio boxes appear. And this is the, what we aim to achieve. So, so far, so good. Now, I guess this is the only changes we need to make to. The registration.xml file so making sure it is saved I'm gonna close it up and I am going to return to the website where I'm going to fill in the form to see whether or not it submits to the database my name is Jan I am a male I agree to something and I select yes I am married. Having completed the form, I'm going to click on register. And then I'm going to, while that form processes, I'm going to go to the database to see whether or not the file has been submitted. Okay, and as you can see, there is errors there, but that is as a result of my WAMP server SMTP settings. If we go into the tutorial database, and we scroll down to the users table, we see that here is a new entry Jan Mel this is my bio mail I agree I am married and everything seems to be in order the database accepted my value my values from the form so the next step will be to ensure that we can also access the same information that the user in entered on this form we must be able to access that in the administration area as well so if you click on a user you must be able to see those those values in the account details of that user and to do so is actually very easy in fact we have already done all the work to do so we have to find the file uh, if we go back to the root directory into the administrator folder go into components scroll down to com users go into models into forms and then we open up the user.xml file 
as you can see this file looks very similar to the previous file that we have just edited and the only thing that we need to do in this file is to paste the code that we have entered into the previous file we need to paste that same code in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that file again going back to the root uh, files of the website going into components users models forms and then finally the registration form this is the file that we have just edited and uh, we're going to just open it up to copy and paste from it so there the registration.xml file is opened I'm going to select um, everything from the surname all the way down to the married and uh, so I'm going to select all the way down to to married and I'm going to make sure that I've got every single one of the lines that I need uh, selected then I'm going to copy the files and go back over to the user.xml file which is opened in the tab next to the registration.xml file and over here I'm just going to paste that in between name and between name and username I'm just going to paste and without having to do anything else I'm going to save it and that's about it so if you go to user manager and uh, you click on a user's name like the one I've just registered then uh, the database should pull all the information into your view and as you can see it does there's the surname now the bio which is written there male or female did the user agree to something or not and is the user married or not obviously these values are editable as the admin user you can edit these values and uh, they are all yeah and everything seems to be in order so uh, to recap I mean we made some changes to the the users table we added some elements to the structure we added a couple of rows into the database we edited the registration file we edited these five fields into the registration.xml file then we copied them and pasted them to the user.xml file and we saved everything and as you can see both the admin as well as the mem the public area has all the information they needed so other than styling this uh, form we basically have completed the tutorial and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching my name is Jan Nell and if you like the video please uh, leave your comments below like us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel you can also follow us on Twitter thank you very much for watching and have a nice day <laughs>